The way that we tell the difference between the genders of stone crabs, this is a male here. You can tell by the um, long slender abdomen, it looks something like the Washington Monument. Well, the female, uh, you'll see, has a much wider abdomen, uh, which kind of looks like the Capitol building. And she'll use that wider apron to carry her eggs once she starts spawning. There are two species of stone crab, Manipe adena and Manipe mercenaria. The adena-like crabs are generally darker with a lot less of the markings and the legs are not as clearly banded as these. The mercenaria are lighter and have these clear markings and also have the banding. The way that we tell the difference between an original claw or one that's been regenerated by the crab is by the markings on the um, inner portion here. This right here is an original. It looks just like a fingerprint. If the claw has been regenerated, the fingerprint will look broken, as you can see on this one right here. Stone crabs have two types of claws. They'll have the crusher claw and the pincher claw. The crusher is the larger of the two and has distinct teeth. This one here is the pincher, and it's a lot um, pointier. It's used for tearing. For the claw to be of legal size, it has to be 70 millimeters or two and three quarters inches. And we take a measurement from this joint right here to the tip of the propitus.